So something else here that uh, has been really cool that we've seen the past few days. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I missed the display <laughs> the other night, but a lot of us here across our area saw a beautiful display of the Aurora Boreal. So we did get a question about that mm -hmm. uh, from Danielle in Barrington. She asked, why are the Northern Lights visible here in Rhode Island? What has changed compared to years past? So um, I actually did a story on this recently, and this is actually an interesting thing because uh, of course the sun has been, has been very active. You know, the solar storms, the solar flares that are being released from the sun and entering uh, you know, our atmospheres, um, that's obviously what causes all the color changes and um, you know, that's basically what it's all about is how active is the sun. If the sun's going through an, uh, a, you know, an unactive period or an active period, there's not gonna be many chances to see it. Whereas right now we're in one of those um, active parts of it and we're actually on the trajectory um, in terms of solar activity, we're actually approaching the peak of it, which would be in 2026. Um, so basically what that means is going from now through 2026, there's still, you know, chances to potentially see more of the Northern Lights, even down at uh, our area here. Which, um, I mean, this is, does not just include New England, mm -hmm. areas all across the country, they're reaching farther south mm -hmm. due to these strong geomagnetic storms that we've been seeing uh, from the sun. And with that, uh, we here are even seeing those more vibrant colors that you typically see farther north, because areas like, say, Iceland, Greenland, northern Canada, even northern Maine, uh, typically have a higher chance of seeing it, but because we've been seeing a, this very active trend, the mm -hmm. brighter colors are reaching our area as well.